the first time I saw Roxanne, I remember sitting in the lobby of the hotel that we were staying at and watching Roxanne walk down the street. This is the first time I saw her. And it was like, you know, someone you, you look at their portfolio for a while and get familiar with their images and what they look like. And then you see the person on the street for the first time in real life. It's like meeting a celebrity almost. She was glowing walking down the street and it was really cool. And I got to meet her and instantly like her voice was familiar. It was like she was an old friend and we got to work. So we painted three body paintings in one day and we used her camera cause I, I wasn't taking pictures yet. So I wasn't even familiar with her camera very much. And ultimately we didn't get much out of that day because I didn't take very good photos. It was a great experience nonetheless. I guess the next time I saw her was a couple years later when I painted a butterfly on her. And then she was coming to the States again to New York City to, to do some photo shoots. And I raced out to New York and collaborated with photographer Gary Breckheimer, who I love. And it was a really magical day. And it was just kind of what, what I live for when it comes to creating art. Roxanne is, uh, she's a hopeless romantic. She's a poet. And so I wanted to paint something that represented that. And so I thought, cherry blossoms mixed with thorns you know was a was a visual that sort of complemented her poetry with um with sort of love and and pain and it made a cool body paint it actually took me a really long time to do for some reason even though it looks simpler than it is And then a couple years later, again, she came through my town. I picked her up at the bus station, immediately went home, painted her up real quick with this whimsical blue pattern and photographed her in front of Brown University's library. And we just did a gorilla photo shoot on location and she was cold. I think it was springtime and a girl from Mexico, springtime in New England is still really cold. So she was shivering a little bit, but we got through that and we did another shoot after that. Um, I wanted to make a maze on her body, a maze that her husband could actually play if he wanted to. And, and you start at the heart and you go through the path and there's some dead ends, but there are multiple end zones and the end zones are all on her erogenous zone. So there's one on her mouth, one on each nipple, uh, one on her. And so it's kind of an erotic maze made for her husband. I love, love, love painting Roxanne. She's one of my favorite models of all time. And I wish I could see the girl more often, but we do keep having these random cross paths. And whenever we do, we take advantage of it. And, uh, we make some cool stuff.